On August 9th, 2022, Yasser Saeed was finally convicted for the honor killings of his daughters. So his daughters were named Amina, she was 18, and Sarah, who was 17, and they were killed in Irving, Texas. And so many of the reports of this crime leave out a motive, which means that the story wasn't adequately covered. You know, suddenly the motive doesn't matter because it's connected to Islam. And so I'd like to actually cover this correctly. I think it's just and decent and moral. So Yasser, the father, was born in Egypt. He was Muslim. He was angry that his daughters were somewhat westernized and were dating non-Muslim boys, which is forbidden in Islam. Amina, <clears throat> sorry, Amina, one of the daughters, told a teacher that she and her sister had planned to run away. They didn't want to live under the rules of Islam, they didn't want to live by the culture of their father, who was pretty hardcore because he was born in Egypt and pretty immersed in Islamic culture. And her father had planned for arranged marriages, which neither of the girls were interested in having or entering. Uh, she had said that her father had made their lives a living hell and that he would kill them both. In fact, tragically, he did. On New Year's Day 2008, he murdered them in his taxi. He shot them multiple times. He was then placed on the top 10 most wanted list with the FBI. The FBI, by the way, originally called these honor killings in its original, you know, post and statement about this crime when they were trying to catch him. Then they later politically corrected it and removed the term honor killings and just left it as a double homicide. And, like, I can understand, I guess, the political motivations why that might take place. It's also wrong. It's... It's important that we're able to look at the fact that honor killings are happening here in the United States, what they are, the fact they're connected with Islam, and the fact that, and for anyone who doesn't know, like an honor killing takes place when a, a guy decides to purge the shame brought on his family by, you know, somebody, some member of his family, um, by killing them. That That's a thing in some really crappy cultures. You know, some cultures are better than others. You know, I'll say it even though some people won't. But we live now in a falling culture that fails to recognize, in many cases right from wrong, that fails to just herald the truth. Because can we at least say that this is wrong? Can we say that it happened? Can we say that this was an honor killing as it so obviously was? Can we say that it was motivated by Islam? All of these shouldn't be questions, they should just be, well of course because we know that it's the case. But we have this strange adherence to tolerance, which is heralded as some kind of virtue, which it's not. I think it was G.K. Chesterton who said that tolerance is the virtue of man without conviction. And, and here we are in a society that's sort of so willing to accept this perverse mantra of subjectivism that Everything's just kind of a shade of grey. There's no, there's no absolute truth. And actually, there are. And honor killings do, in fact, belong with Islam. They are part of it. This was objectively wrong. And in doing some sense of, I don't know if I can call this justice, but I think it's, I think it's a right that we cover stories like this because two people lost their lives. You know, those girls were seventeen and eighteen years old, and they lost their lives. In an honor killing, we should say it because it's right and it's decent. And because I think that, quite frankly, they would want us to say it as well. And because it's true. And these are actual virtues, unlike, you know, tolerance of, tolerance of everything, tolerance of evil, which isn't. Wow, you made it to the end. You have an attention span that's outside of the modern world, but I have more videos, and also, if you like them that much, there are ways to support the channel in the links below. Thanks.